The one thing that markets look at is what's the banking exposure to Egypt in terms of loans? And if we look around foreign bank exposure to Egypt per se, it stands at around $44 billion. But when you break that down, European banks, they account for about 37 and a half. It's a bit of a numbers fest out you here, but 37 and a half billion euro dollars mm. is the European bank exposure. And how that splits up, you've got France with the biggest exposure, Germany at just over a billion. And to put it in context, France, you're looking at over 17 billion. Italy comes in there at number three with just over six billion. And then the US itself. So the US is exposed as well. Well, the US banks have an exposure of five billion, but of course this is from the Bank of International Settlements, um, and it's last September. And the one caveat in this is that, of course, there are derivatives, there are bank guarantees, there are many other credit line issues out there that will impact. So, it, you know, it's a will fairly important. Will this be on investors' minds? Do you think as we build up to the open? Ab absolutely. I mean, there's a couple of different things at play. I thought we'd take a look at what's called the volatility indexes as well. In the U.S., we look at the VIX. Now, that rose by about 20 percent on, fri on, on Friday. Um, actually, you know what? If we can get the camera to come in and have a look here, I've written up the U.S. volatility here um, in red, and you can see this very, very clear spike to the upside, um, up by 24 percent, as I should say, and that's the cost of using op Options to hedge yourself on the S&P 500. The other dynamic is this, the risk of default in Egypt. And we measure that by looking at Egyptian credit mm. default swaps. So I've, I've done another graph here. Now, we're nowhere near back where we were um, in the early part of 2008. But you can see this spike to the upside here. This is the cost of insuring against Egyptian default over the next five years. That is spiking uh, to the upside. Just to put that in context for you, you, you it's going to cost you about $420,000, $430,000 to insure against $10 million worth of debt. That has risen over the last mm. five trading days by about $120,000. So the concern is there, concern about insuring against default, and the concern is about bank exposure to the Egyptian economy. There we go. Remarkable story with far-reaching yep. uh, impact. Huge impact. Thank